Hello everyone, welcome to the control system theory playlist. In this video, I am going to explain type number of control system. The number of poles of the loop transfer function g of s h of s lying at the origin decide the type number of the system. Here the loop transfer function g of s h of s equal to k s plus z1 s plus z2 up to infinite. In denominator s power n s plus p1 s plus p2 up to infinite where z1 and z2 are zeros p1 and p2 are poles k is constant n is number of poles at the origin ok now I am explain type 0 type 1 and type 2 system by taking example of transfer function here our loop transfer function g of s h of s equal to k s plus z1 s plus z2 up to infinite in denominator s power n s plus p1 s plus p2 up to infinite here i am taking loop transfer function g of s h of s equal to 10 s plus 1 in denominator s plus 2 s plus 3 s plus 4 by comparing this transfer function with here you can say that s raised to n that means here the absence of s raised to power it means there is no power of s here we can say that s raised to 0 it means n equal to 0 that means there is no poles at the origin we can say that there is no pole at this origin so then this system is type 0 system now type 1 system here loop transfer function g of s h of s equal to 3 upon s s plus 2 here we can say that here power of s is 1 by comparing s raised to 1 with s raised to n we can say that n equal to 1 that means number of poles at the origin is 1 okay so that this type of system is type 1 system because number of pole at the origin that is 1 so that that is type 1 system here the power of s is 1 now type 2 system for type 2 system loop transfer function g of s h of s equal to s plus 10 in denominator s raised to 2 s plus 1 and s plus here by comparing this s square with s raised to n we can say that n equal to 2 that means the number of poles at the origin that is 2 so that we can say that this system is type 2 system because the number of poles at the origin is 2 here the power of s is 2 so that this system is type 2 system so that by knowing number of poles at the origin that means number of pole at origin by identifying number of poles at the origin we can classify type 0 type 1 and type 2 system i hope you have to understand if any query and doubt then write in comment section i will discuss in next video thank you very much